Hi everyone, Michael here. Good to have you with me. Um, Laser Pecker sent me this box. I can only assume it's the LX1, um, their new gantry style um, laser, which they're not used to, but um, based on the leaked photos and what's on uh, Facebook, it looks quite good and compact. Um, the box hasn't been opened. Um, this is a voyage of discovery uh, that you're making with me. Um, so let's dive right in. Apparently this is not uh, retail packaging, um, but it seems pretty well packed. Uh, let's go over here. And let's take a look. It's a nice firm padding, foam. Take this out. Oh, and straight away we have what must be the actual laser unit, the main gantry. Here we go. It looks as if it may be upside down, so maybe I'll open the box upside down. Let's take that out. Nice and heavy. Here's the USB cable. What else is in here? Power pack. Show you what's inside. It's like that. Let's take this out. Another nice large bit of foam. Um, must be a laser head. Must be another laser head. What else in here? Another unit. Some more cables. like okay so this is a power cable and this is probably the head to this no not to that let's see what else in here nothing is in there so we've got the main main body one laser head Second laser head, I believe this will sit on here, maybe like this, or let's have a look, Something like that, so like that, There's another unit, there. So it looks as if they've sent me two laser heads. I think this is the art unit, some cables, the power unit. Let's put that aside and have a look at these. Nicely constructed, little wheel here for something, maybe tightening things. Here, this is, this might be the IR head. Um, no identifying marks on it. Maybe they'll let me know. And hopefully what they'll do is also label these. This one, interestingly, so this has a sort of probe here. Don't know what that is for. It's, that guides in. There is a push out here. I think this may be to measure the distance. It looks also that there's a cone here, so given that air is pushed down, it might act as a form of air assist. And hence probably why this is maybe just the um, IR head because there is no air assist. Let's put these aside. Let's have a look at this unit. Quite hefty and heavy. Um, which way does it go? No, 
So this way round. Legs come forward. There we go. It's probably the power button here. That was on the on position. So maybe what I've got here is a unit that they've been testing. And the arm comes out like this. So if you think about it, that could go there. When you finished, just fold it up and you've got all this space to work with. Um, let's put it back round. Let's bring this closer, have a look. So you can see here, the laser head will fit into this area. Let's actually put one in. And there is a groove here, so there's a groove here. I mean, um, a protrusion, so I'm sure that goes there. Put this in. Get a nice fit. Okay, so let's do it like that. Okay, it only goes so far, and then it springs back up. Let's loosen this. Likewise, um, let's tighten that so it sits in a particular position. Yeah, this protrusion comes out, and yeah, so I don't want to force this, um, but that fits quite well. Let's This is the art unit. This one doesn't have, the art unit doesn't have a protrusion sticking out. Um, it could well be because if you use different size pens or pencils, this will go up and down, um, varying. So overall, um, another nicely well built unit, which can pack away quite nicely, as you can see, that suddenly you freeze up all your space. If need be, close up these legs. And you have a lot more space as well. Um, so an ideal thing for people with limited space. Again, Laser Packer is doing these compact units very much like the Laser Packer 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, which seem to be easily put away, transported, um, and there you go. So that's the main unit. These are the three heads that I have. Power cable and various connecting cables.